Bye, Annie. You don't care that I'm leaving? Cool. Bye, Molly. Oh, you're a liar. I have, uh, I came with this shirt on, and then I get here, and Tina's got her fucking shirt on. Ah! Fucking, <laughs> what? We are gonna get some dick today. Gonna be suck. Oh, that's my boyfriend. Right now. <laughs> oh wait, never mind. I'll give you some old man balls <laughs> before you leave. Grandpa, we don't want your balls. You'll want these balls one day. They're full of dust and knowledge. Oh, Grandpa. All right, bye, Grandpa. Peace. True story. I'm sorry, but there is nothing more fabulous than this fucking coat. And people will say, uh, people will say, you're trying to be like Chelsea. Because Chelsea has a coat. Hell yeah. Because this is a great fucking coat. And Chelsea Lynn's cool as shit. So yeah, I am trying to be like her. We're currently stopped somewhere in, uh, in Missouri. We're on our way to Arkansas. Tina's driving. She's not driving now because we're stopped, but um, she's driving and I'm a passenger. I mean, I couldn't look any more stuffed in here. I look like I'm just stuffed. I look like I'm stuffed in here. Cute, cute, uh, cute zit, bro. Doing bits, always doing bits. <clears throat> Two drink minimum. Why do you gotta hide it on the floor? Cause I don't have fucking room. You got seven drinks. Wow. That's not very nice to talk to your passenger like that. The person who just bought you gas, I mean. Okay, I didn't buy you gas. A large number one, and you want mayo, ketchup, everything on there? Yes. Okay, uh, large number one, and I'd like it with all the stuff on it. Mayo, L-top, mustard, and everything. And uh, I'd like a large Coca-Cola to drink with that. Uh, we want tater tits. Tots. <laughs> She's a yeah, 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 tater tits on that one. Okay, um, and then, uh, what are the side options? Sorry, I'm gonna open. Okay, can I do an applesauce? Okay, can I do a number nine classic grilled chicken sandwich? Um, and I'd like applesauce as a side. And then I'd like a diet cherry limeade. Okay, here's the deal. Here's here's my first issue. <clears throat> Why couldn't I get applesauce as a side? She because no one does that. No, well, it's no. not an option I in know. the cash because register. I'm being, I know, but that's unfair. She could just type in applesauce. I work at a restaurant, okay? I know what they can do back there. Here's the deal, though. <clears throat> when you come to Sonic, you ain't thinking about applesauce, okay? I know you're... We're thinking about french fries, lard. Applesauce doesn't have lard in it. You need to get something with lard. I'm doing low carb, okay? So well, that's what I'm there's doing. a lot of carb in the applesauce because it's got a lot of sugar in it. Or else kids wouldn't eat it. So you might as well get a tot. <laughs> I have some advice. If you're a morbidly obese person and... She did not like that I said tater tit. And you don't want to be embarrassed about uh, your eating choices. You need to go with another fat person. You cannot go to a fast food restaurant with a person that go that works out and eats healthy. Cause I've never ordered applesauce anywhere. And look at me. I can barely fit my seatbelt on. Well, I clearly haven't ordered applesauce anywhere either because they wouldn't even fucking give it to me. So <laughs> Talk shit all you want, she, but nobody's getting fucking applesauce she, today. The lady said, I don't even know how to ring that up because it doesn't come up as an option.
fine. I wanted a side salad and they didn't have that, so. And another issue is, when you're a morbidly obese person, you know all the menu items. You'd never have to say, hey, what are your side items? Because we just know in our hearts, they're gonna have a fry, they're gonna have a mott stick, they're gonna have a, uh, anything that you can put in a big vat of grease, fry up and eat, it's gonna be there. You know what I would be getting if it was my cheat day? What I would be getting is a fucking breakfast burrito. I get an order of mozzarella sticks. I get a large order of popcorn chicken with buffalo sauce and ranch and one honey mustard just for fun, just well, to relax. Why can't it be the cheat day today? Because it's not the day. What day's the cheat day? Generally, it's Sundays. Alrighty. Well, the Lord rises on Sunday because it's Easter Sunday. Libby's going to be up at 6 a.m. sharp waiting for Jesus to roll out of his tomb and say, what's up? But bitches, here I am. Hopefully he'll do a little honk honk. <laughs> am I supposed to leave the card in there or take it out? What are you you're supposed <laughs> to take? Really? Come and go? Alrighty. There she is. Been to Arkansas, but that's a lot of places. I've traveled, I've had my share, man. I've been everywhere. Tina's back there getting ready for showtime. Showtime and T minus 40 minutes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I've never done comedy before, so <laughs> I'm just hoping it goes well. This is, uh, many people will ask us, hey, why don't you come to Boston? Why don't you come to Wisconsin? And this is all, this is, when you're at our level, this is a self-funded trip here. Nobody's putting us up in a fancy hotel. No, we, this is that we're actually outside. That's why it's so bright. <laughs> we're just camped out at a park. We're we're at a park, and uh, that's that's what's happening. So hopefully we're gonna break even, right, Tina? Hoping to break even on this. Yeah, I mean I'm thirty grand in debt, but um, we're hoping for the best. So so say prayers for us. That we are able to uh, suck dicks <laughs> many. Okay, not many. No, just, at, just the ones that count. At least five each. Hi guys, uh, I'm Tina Deeball and I am so, so grateful to so, be here tonight. Yeah, I just uh, zoom in on my microphone. Uh, it's, a, <laughs> it's a microphone. I'm really grateful to be here. I'm gonna perform a skit tonight. It's called Stand Up Comedy. It's a skit that I have written, and only me. Uh, well, uh, why don't you put that in your skit? I sh <laughs> That's funny. Oh my God! Look how big it is. What? Yours it? <laughs> it's getting. Bigger. Oh, maybe this tampon can erase it out. Nope, it didn't work. It's still there. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure. I want to bring up to the stage one of my good friends, Mr. Topher Kogan. Yay! Come on, guys. Topher Kogan! Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it was amazing to the fuck up here so close to the night. You doing good? Awesome. I'm Tina Debo. I'm very excited to be here. Comfy bed. It's comfy. This Nobody looks like. I ever hate is hotel pillows. Why? Um, these ones are one behind me. One that's a bit firmer. You could have put your head on my buttocks. No. You were farting up so much. Man, I farted this morning so loud and I laughed so hard. <laughs> <laughs> we're at this, uh, this trampoline park. Me and my zip and Tina. And uh, Tina's going to do some backflips. She's going to be the world's first and only backflip comedian. I just want to say thank you so much to Jesus Christ. I want to say uh, thank you to my to my comrades that are going to be out in the field with me. And I'd like to say thank you to my boyfriend, Rafe Williams, even though he doesn't listen to my podcast. He's still the love of my life. Um, yes, yeah, he's really supportive, except he hasn't listened to the podcast. But thank you so much to everybody who supported me up to this point, and uh, I can't wait to do a backflip for you today. So, holy cow! Holy shit! Ladies and gentlemen. 
coming. Oh my god, it's, there's a man with a whistle. Is he coming to yell at me? Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome to the trampoline stage the world's worst, the world's first backflip comic, Tina Dable. Tina D-Ball, everybody! Give it up for Tina D-Ball! This place honestly is <clears throat> my worst nightmare. There's screaming, there's children, uh, those things. I'm still waiting for Tina to jump on the, tra the trapeze, but she's let uh, approximately, I'd say, 400 and 75 kids uh, go in front of her. So, good thing she's not my daughter. I would have spanked her bottom already. <laughs> Tina just threw that kid off of there. Uh, day two in Arkansas. We're in spring, our show's in Springdale tonight. And, um, we, of course, had to check out of the hotel at 1, so we've just been uh, farting around, farting around all day. And now I'm doing uh, my makeup in the vehicle because where else would I do it? Hopefully at some point in my comedy career, I'll be able to have a van and I can sleep in the van and put my makeup on and get because I don't even know where I'm going to get dressed. And we're at the CVS so that Tina can get some uh, dry shampoo because both of our hairs are pretty greasy. I think uh, someone put a vat of grease onto my head. We went to a restaurant called AQ Chicken. It's supposedly a famous chicken place in Springdale, Arkansas. And I had the worst diarrhea of my life in there. And I don't like to go poop in public restrooms and <laughs> it was awful I flushed the toilet and uh, the poop wouldn't go down and I kept flushing and flushing and the poop just kept twirling in the bowl so I'll never go back there again I'll never go to AQ chicken because my poop is probably still twirling around the bowl. It was just twirling. So if you go to AQ Chicken and you go in the women's restroom and you see diarrhea in the toilet, it's probably mine. Why is the seatbelt so extremely tight on me? Oh, probably down this seat. Fucking highway. Show me me lick your balls. So we just drove all the way from Arkansas. Five and a half hours. It's 4.30 in the morning. The show in uh, Springdale was so great. The audience was so receptive and and was there to laugh but fuck we're tired that was a toot uh so i am headed to my final destination which is home to see my kitty cats oh fuck wish i had an airplane and and i'm just in bed because i'm exhausted i don't know what it is about traveling that's so exhausting but um and i didn't even drive i just was sitting there so that made me super tired and tomorrow i have to go back to my day job i'm ready to just not have a day job and go on the road 
preferably in a uh, stretch limousine so that I can lay down the thing. So thanks everybody that came out and saw the shows. And thank you for watching my first vlog. Hopefully they'll improve from here on out now that I know what I kind of want to do. Okay, thanks so much. Bye. And also I need to remember to look there instead of here. Look here instead of here. Here instead of here. Here. Here.